Hey, this is Ross Harrison from Precision Health and Fitness, and I've got something a little different for you today. So, the this video is actually brought about by a conversation I had someone, and they're having some lower back issues and some impingement stuff, and this is something that a lot of people have, and whether it's their low back, they've got tightness everybody has tightness somewhere um, and there's a lot of ways <clears throat> different ways to approach tightness you know some people do massages or stretching there's myofascial release there's all kinds of different things that you can do to work out your muscles um, I'm gonna show you one today that you're probably not familiar with perhaps you are this is not something I came up with this is from the world of somatic movement and something I've, I've sort of known about a little bit but the last few months have really gotten into it and started doing some training with it um, so and it's it's very it's different it's it, in my words it's sort of a combination between exercise and stretching but it's neither um, the body reacts to this differently than it does exercise or stretching for me in my experience with it this is sort of the best thing to actually release the tension within your muscles. So not so much like working out a specific knot, but our muscles have tension in them that for the most part we don't even realize. And really the only time you realize how tense you are is when an injury has occurred. And for the most part, the normal reaction I see in people is you look for, well, what is it that I did that caused this injury? And often it's just a buildup of tension over time, changes in body mechanics, posture, muscle imbalances, things like that. And it's more an issue of the straw that broke the camel's back. And people tend to look at that last thing we did that really pushed your body over the edge. But that's not the reality of how muscles typically work. Yes, there are ways you can, you know, do something ex way too much and you're, you'll get a pulled muscle. But a lot of the times we injure ourselves and I'll be honest and say I injured myself last week and it was from doing almost nothing. I mean, I, I keep track of a lot of stuff and I, I identified five different factors that I felt all contributed to this. You know, any, probably three of them and I would have been fine, but it, it all came down to too much tension for what I was doing. So I'm going to show you the reason I'm talking about this this much. This is different to the point where the thing I'm going to show you today is just the tip of the iceberg but it's, it'll show you the mindset of what this is. And more than that, if you've never seen or heard of this, you'll look at it and say, I don't believe that could do anything. And the reality is when people experience this, and I've been using this with some of my clients lately, um, when they do the type of thing I'm gonna show you right now, which honestly looks like almost nothing, the reaction their body has is so different from what they expect that it almost creates a cognitive dissonance and they can't believe that they feel as much better as they do that was terribly said but um for just doing this little motion so without further ado this is this is a basic sort of the basic movement and we'll give you the idea behind what this is and specifically this is very good for releasing tension in the spine helping with impingement things, disc issues, spine issues. Um, there's many other pieces that go with this, but this, this is a foundational piece. <clears throat> so essentially what you're going to do, and if I was doing this for real, I would have my arms down here in a relaxed position. Knees are just feet on the floor, knees are bent. Really in whatever position, it's around hip width or a little bit more, but whatever position just feels like you can rest as much as possible. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to move my arms out of the way just so you can see. But normally they'd be here so you'd be more relaxed. Um, but for now, essentially just let your body relax as much as you can and just essentially try to release as much tension throughout your body as possible. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a deep breath in into my like full deep breath and as I breathe in my spine's going to curve a little bit so 
and I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but really you just want to push till you feel a little tension in your low back, not and not force it. This this should feel like you're just breathing in and your pelvis will rotate forward some and your spine will bend and you'll increase the curve in your low back and it'll raise off the ground somewhat. So after doing that and taking a deep breath in, you're gonna just relax and come back to neutral. So typically what we would think is, okay, you breathe in and then you come back down. This is gonna be very different. So after breathing in, you're in that position, you're gonna actively control the lowering motion. So instead of just letting everything relax and come down, that motion from the top coming back to the neutral position may take somewhere between like 6, 12, however many seconds. And what you want to feel is a slow controlled release. Like you're just letting your body slowly come down against gravity. You're not trying to pull down. You're just coming and resetting back to the position you started in. So that's the first part. So I've gone up, breathe in, just let my body come down, pause there for a second or two, and then I'll breathe in again, but have my spine stay where it is. So another breath in. And then after this one, I'm gonna push my back into the ground, not super hard, but just to where I'm feeling some tension and then feeling my stomach hollow out some as I push into the ground. And then once I get to a point that I feel the muscles tensing, then again, I'll do the same thing. I'll slowly relax and try to control until the muscles come back to the neutral position. So for me, and it's everybody's gonna do this differently. There's no perfect form you want to do the steps in sequence, and this is very fast speed, so breathe in, relax, breathe in, flatten, and then come back to neutral. And, and that was like, that was, that was like the time-lapse version. So really just one movement of those pieces may take 30 seconds or longer. And if you can control it, the goal is to control it and feel like you're slowly lowering the whole time or slowly coming back to neutral the whole time. You, do, you don't want to feel, and you very well may at first, you don't want to feel like, okay, I'm lowering an inch and holding it, lowering a little bit more and holding it, lowering a little bit more and holding it. It, it should feel like your body's just releasing very slowly, like your muscles are just slowly lengthening as you come down and you really just want to pay attention to it. Um, it also helps to do this with your eyes closed, with as little noise as possible. Not something to be doing while you're listening to music or watching TV. You want to be as in touch with feeling the internal feeling sensation of your muscles moving, contracting, relaxing in each position. So that's, that's it. Like that is it. It's literally breathe in, release, hold for a second, flatten, come back to normal. So that's, that's the movement. And again, it seems like nothing, talking about it and to the point where I didn't want to actually take the time to do a full one because I felt like it'd probably be pretty boring to watch. Um, but if you actually do it and feel it, I, there's nothing I can say that will get you to understand what this can do for your body other than doing it and I would recommend doing it every day. And if you have low back issues or tightness or sit a lot during the day, just do this for like a week, you know, once or twice, um, I don't know, maybe three or six times through the full cycle and see how your body feels. And th there, is, there is a whole piece that goes with this. Um, ideally, you should take a minute or so before you start and just you can either stand or you can lay on the ground and just feel your body. Just feel your hips, feel your back, feel your muscles. And then after doing this, you, again, you can take another minute at the end and feel what, if anything, feels different. So for today, 
that's that's it this is really one of those things either you're going to try it and it'll probably do amazing things for you or you may say that's nothing why would i do that it's a waste of time okay but it, it i'll admit even for me when i looked at some of this stuff before trying to do any i never thought it would make the kind of difference it does and this is just one piece there's there's a whole there's a whole discipline around this type of motion, but the other, the bigger picture piece of this is when you slowly let your muscles release and the, the tension like just releases over time and your muscles elongate, that actually actively releases your muscle tension. Much better in my feeling, in my experience, it works much better than stretching it were, it, this isn't like going to necessarily increase your range of motion the same way stretching will. But when you have tension throughout a muscle, it will release that tension better than anything else that I've come across in my 20 plus years of doing this. So the challenge is really finding out what parts of your body have the type of tension that's causing structural damage and changes and putting excess wear and tear on your muscles and joints. And when you can find those areas and do something like this to alleviate the tension in the muscles, your things naturally improve. Like your alignment will naturally improve, imbalances will work themselves out. And of course you wanna be doing other things with this. Like I wouldn't just do this, but you still wanna be doing other exercise. And of course, like watching what you eat, getting enough sleep, all of these things are important. Um, but that's a little piece of somatic movement and I hope you try it out and if you have any questions let me know feedback that would be awesome so take care and I'll probably be back for more of this kind of stuff at some point maybe not next time but who knows if I get a lot of positive feedback sure but take it easy keep uh, just keep taking care of yourself it's getting much harder these days and I'm noticing both myself my clients like it, it's almost requiring even more rehab restoration type of movement exercise stretching whatever it, it's requiring more than i have ever had to just because of all the things going on and all the disruptions in life there's a lot more stress so that means a lot more muscle tension and a lot more to undo which is really why i'm showing this today it's it's a very effective tool in your arsenal if you use it correctly so that's it. Enjoy. I'll be back with another video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.